Hi guys, Robert Kelly here again with another video. This week we are going to tackle the spaghetti carbonara, um, a classic Italian dish. And there's very few ingredients. It is simple enough to make, but slightly technical near the end. Um, it's something you need to watch. Um, so let's get cracking. Our carbonara today, we have beautiful guinciale. It's a uh, pig cheek. It's salty, fatty, peppery, and dry aged absolutely fantastic for this dish and um, you can use smoked bacon either but this is absolutely perfect and the classical way we have pecorino which is salty crumbly sheep's cheese fresh garlic which is optional then eggs obviously your spaghetti and black pepper that's everything you will need today for this dish it's absolutely fantastic when it comes together so let's get cracking on that so first of all we're going to get our spaghetti on so we're going to bring our water to the boil. We're going to use 120 grams of spaghetti per person. We get that in straight away. That'll take seven minutes. So we get cracking on our, the rest of our ingredients straight away. So our guinciale, we're going to be very generous with this. Two nice chunky slices see that the skin has already come off me so I would have taken the skin off and then down the middle and nice chunky dices the flavor of this is absolutely fantastic but then um, if you can't get your hands in like I said you can use small bacon it's just a lot leaner that's the only thing and um, one clove of garlic which I said is optional so now we get this onto the pan so now we're going to start our pan off cold because we want to render all the fat out. So the chala goes into the pan cold, render all the fat out. We're going to get a nice golden colour on this. Just when it starts to sizzle and the fat starts to come out, that's when we're going to add the garlic in. It shouldn't take too long to heat up there. So while that's heating up, we'll get our eggs ready. So what I like to use is one whole egg and one egg yolk. Now, put the egg yolk into the bowl together. Give it a whisk. Now, add some of our pecorino. Give it a good whisk. mixed there. Now we're going to add our garlic to the pan. So you can see a nice golden colour coming on now. Just add our garlic in whole. Move it around the pan and it release that flavour. Now we're checking our pasta. It's going to only take seven minutes. Turn around. And always when you're cooking pasta, always use a bigger pan than you think. Just give that pasta room to move around and cook. Just makes things a lot nicer, it doesn't really stick together. Beautiful colours coming on that now, beautiful smells and flavours too. So this recipe is so quick. Pasta's nearly there too. Now it's time to take that garlic out. Now we want our pan to actually start cooling down a bit now. Because if we add eggs to this at that heat, Bang, straight away we're gonna have scrambled eggs. And uh, 
We do really, really don't want eggy noodles. So we want a beautiful creamy pasta. It's nearly there, it's another minute on that, should do it. Now guys, our pasta is just there. Now, like I said, this is a seven minute. So about six and a half minutes to try it, okay? So there should be a little give in the pasta, not too much. It's perfect al dente, that's exactly what we're looking for. So our pan is still sizzling away there. Now, this is the trick now. So we want our pasta and the water in that pan. And this is what's going to make our creamy sauce. You don't add cream at all. See, it just it's the water that does it. So you just get a little more in. Now, here's where the magic happens. We're just going to toss our eggs into it. Now, this is a nice mix up now. Look at that creamy pasta. Now one drop of cream put in, but look at how creamy that is. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we add in a touch of black pepper, just to finish. Another little dribble of water, if you want it even creamier. And look at that, absolutely beautiful. Now it's time to play it. Now guys, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Incredible. Smells fantastic, looks fantastic. And believe me, it's gonna taste fantastic. That's it. Absolutely beautiful. A bit more pecorino on top. Finish it off with a little touch of black pepper. Absolutely fantastic. What a beautiful dish. The whole family will really, really love this. Um, you know, it is one to try. It is one that everyone will enjoy, but the only key to it is adding them eggs at the end. When the bacon is cooked, take it off the heat. Lift up your pasta out of water, drop it into the pan with the water, let it cool it down a little. Toss it around in the oil, let it take in all that fat from your guanciale, and then you toss in the eggs and cheese. Mix and mix and mix. If it's a little dry, add in some more water. Toss it up, that's where your creamy, creamy sauce comes from. We don't add any cream, you know, I used to do that years ago and you know, I was cursed for it and this, that and the other. It's not right, it's not right. So this is the classic um, Italian carbonara and it is fantastic. It tastes absolutely beautiful, but it is a must try. Don't be afraid of it. Listen, if you get scrambled eggs the first time, so what? Try it again, you know. They're simple, simple ingredients, cheap to pick up. Um, your pasta, just have the water on the boil. Add your pasta in 120 grams per person. Cook at six and a half, seven minutes. At six and a half, check it. Just pinch it. If there's a little pinch left in it, that's it, it's ready. Because you're gonna add it to a hot pan. You're gonna to toss it round in that fat. That's gonna finish out the last minute of it. So your pasta is gonna be absolutely perfect. So that's it guys for this week, your classical Italian carbonara. Um, I hope you all enjoy. Like I said last time, if there's anything you'd like to see, hit me a text and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I really love it to grow and I need your support for that. Um, so thanks guys. See you again. Cheers.